Introduction to Multimodal Composition, eComp at the University of New Mexico. This presentation is meant to help you create your multimodal document, specifically to help you choose the right document. Throughout your life, you've probably been asked to write essays or texts that consist of words on a page. In the past, limited technology meant an author could only produce written text. However, because technology has changed and evolved, the word text has evolved to include audio, still or moving images, documents with color, words, sound, or animation, or a mix of all these formats. If the word text has changed, shouldn't the way you produce the document also change? Our goal in this class is to help you choose the appropriate type of document for conveying your message. But to make this choice, you first have to understand that the documents you produce in this class are responses to rhetorical situations. To learn more about the rhetorical situation of a document, you have to ask yourself, who is the audience? What are their needs? What is the purpose for writing? And what are the opportunities to write? The answers to these questions will help you select the appropriate type of document. Let's look at an example from a former student. For this assignment, we asked her to choose a place and write a review. We're asking you to make similar choices when responding to assignments in this class. On the screen, we are showing a typical review you might find online, and it includes text, color, pictures, and formatting choices by the designer that respond to a particular rhetorical situation. Now, how does a student respond to an assignment to create a multimodal review? Let's take a look. This student chose a blog format because it's public and can be easily accessed by a wide range of people. Like the review shown in the previous slide, this one features a specific use of color, carefully written text content, and pictures that help to tell a story and appeal to the audience, the readers of this review of the Elena Gallegos open space in Albuquerque. This student's purpose for writing was to convince her audience to visit this place. As noted, this student used words and also pictures to enhance her message and to inform, educate, and perhaps persuade her readers to visit. This student clearly considered her audience a public one that might find this review on her blog. This student has also considered how her document can be structured to convince her audience. She structures her text and pictures to aid in this purpose. For each project, we provide you with an opportunity to produce a document, but it's up to you to select the appropriate medium. We're not asking you to be graphic designers. Instead, we're looking at how you've carefully considered the method of delivery according to the needs of the audience and the purpose of writing. Try not to be intimidated by these choices and the freedom you have to develop new texts. Remember, instead of asking you to learn some cool new technology, though you will do that too, we simply want you to learn to select the right text rather than defaulting to what you used in previous environments, consider delivery and tools available to produce texts, understand why the document is best for not only the project, but also for the audience. Good luck and have fun. Make sure to contact your instructor if you have any questions.